Yeah, Justin, of course, you've been talking about it. We knew the rainy weather was going to hit this morning, but then a tornado touched down, and it was something that we really weren't expecting at the time. Neighbors in Alamo Heights, Terrell Hills, and other spots on the east side caught by surprise. This noon, we're seeing down trees. I even saw a pumpkin rolling down the street. RJ Marquez now joins us live near Austin Highway in Alamo Heights. So, RJ, notice a lot of damage behind you there. Yeah, that's right, David and Ursula. I mean, and you guys just mentioned this was completely unexpected. Talked to a couple of neighbors. They didn't want to go on camera, but they basically said that, you know, this was like a boom, a quick sounding sort of situation. They didn't realize it, but they definitely felt the pressure here. So if you look over my shoulder, you could see the damage that was left behind uh, for, at a school here, Southwest Preparatory School. Um, a tree fell on that fence there, and there's also some more damage further down the road here at, the, uh, at an apartment complex, the Alcove Apartment. And so we want to get you to video now. This happened at the corner of North Vandiver and Seidel Road. So this is right off of Austin Highway. You guys mentioned that's that middle area between Terrell Heights and Alamo Heights. Our crew here was the first one on the scene and we saw that huge tree blocking the road. The storm caused the tree to fall over and damage the fence here at Southwest Prep Campus. A good Samaritan actually pulled over and started to cut the tree with his own equipment before city crews arrived and ultimately cleared that damage. So the school also had some debris and roof damage as well, but fortunately the kids inside were all safe despite losing power for a while. Here's what San Antonio Fire Chief Charles Hood had to say. It appears that a, a small tornado um, hit the area of Terrell Hills, uh, Fort Sam Houston, and this area of San Antonio, which is Council District 2. Um, we're waiting for confirmation from the uh, National Weather Service. Looks like it could be a potential uh, EF0. But again, uh, high straight line winds caused damage to this apartment and some trees in this area to another building. Yeah, that's right. And then the chief saying that fortunately also there were no injuries, no reports of that as well or serious damage here. But there were about 270 customers that lost power. That was according to CPS as this storm rolled through this area. Chief Hood also said that they had to respond to a number of high water rescues in the area as well. So school officials here, again, we are kind of talking to them. They're busy sort of cleaning up the damage here. They said that their phones, their phones were down for a while, their phone system, but they wanted to reassure uh, parents that their kids were safe. We caught up with one mom who came and picked up her child right away after she initially saw some of our reporting on case at 12 during our nine o'clock show and uh, her kid sounded very shaken up about what they saw. But again, everyone is safe here. No injuries, no significant damage. But again, guys, something that definitely shook this entire neighborhood or this area. David and Ursula, back to you guys.